Hello Internet, my name's Lave and this week I watched the reboot of Ghostbusters and I quite liked it. Yeah, you weren't expecting that, were ya? So this Ghostbusters is a reboot, it's not a sequel in any shape or form to the originals and is directed by Paul Feige who's had some hits with The Heat and Spy. But when they released the trailer for this film it like broke the internet. I think it was like the first time that a YouTube trailer's dislikes heavily outweighed its likes and that very rarely happens. My initial reaction to the trailer wasn't positive to be honest and let me get this very clear it's not because the Ghostbusters were recast as women. Oh, oh good, thanks. I never understood why fans of the original Ghostbusters were now being like oh my god these Ghostbusters have no dick. I didn't really care about that. In fact, I didn't really care that the CGI looked a bit like a PlayStation Xbox game. My real reservations about the trailer was that it wasn't funny and it was trying so hard to be. Now that I've seen the film, I can tell you that I thought it was really funny. I had a really good time with it. Don't get me wrong, the bits in the trailers which I didn't think were funny still weren't funny in the film, but the rest of the film, particularly the dialogue and the script, and the performances I thought were really funny. I LOL'd. So let's talk about the plot. Well, there aren't any real surprises there. It is structured in much the same way as the originals. It hits all of the same beats, but there are enough tweaks to it to make it feel like its own thing uh, without making it not a Ghostbusters film, if that makes sense. The biggest difference is obviously the characters. I know that they're females now, but I did go into this thinking that I was gonna see a female Peter and a female Ray and a female Egon and Winston, but it's not at all. They have their own personalities. And I'll be honest, I totally bought into them. I thought each actress brought their unique brand of comedy to their roles, and I thought they were really funny. So Kristen Wiig plays Dr. Erin Gilbert. She's a scientist teaching at a college, and she's actually going for tenure. This is put under threat by some previous work that she did with her old friend, Abby, played by Melissa McCarthy. So she tracks her down and finds her working at another school, but she's got a different partner now in the form of Jillian and Holtzman, played by Kate McKinnon. From there, they witness a paranormal event and they decide to team together, eventually joined by Patty, played by Leslie Jones. Yeah, that's pretty much the same as Ghostbusters, but no, there are differences. So out of the new lineup, my favorite Ghostbuster has to go to Kristen Wiig. I thought she was so funny, kind of nerdy. She's playing a stupid, smart person, if that makes sense, kind of goofy. Yeah, I love Kristen Wiig. <laughs> That's followed very closely by Kate McKinnon's character, Holtzman. She's a kind of rebellious, laid-back tech genius. She's the cool kid. Leslie Jones as well, I thought she was okay. Apart from the stuff that you see in the trailers which weren't funny, she definitely has her moments. And even though I'm suffering from a bit of Melissa McCarthy fatigue, she has been in every other Paul Feige film and some really other shitty shit. I thought she was okay and it's actually her relationship with Kristen Wiig's character which binds it all together. And I really like the supporting cast as well. You've got some real big names in there like Charles Dance pops up at the beginning. Andy Garcia plays the mayor. I really liked him and his assistant played by Cecily Strong. And then you've got loads of other supporting little roles and although they're very fleeting, they're really funny. There's a really funny tour guide at the beginning. I really liked the hotel manager as well. He's got a really funny scream. They're really short and sharp but sweet roles and funny as well. There's even some cameos from some franchise mainstays and I'm not going to spoil exactly who but I thought ah, oh, it's nice to see them. Now I have seen some comments saying that this film is anti-male and I guess the only real argument you've got there is Chris Hemsworth character. So he is the predominant male actor in this film and he's playing a thick as shit receptionist who they only hired so that he can help them carry their equipment but again he's really really funny in it in fact he probably has the best joke of the film michael hats are oh, so stupid but so funny <laughs> and at the end of the day that's all i was really hoping for with this film i just wanted it to be funny and it was so i have to say I enjoyed it. So that's my thoughts on Ghostbusters and pause the video now if you want to take a closer look at my enjoyment tracker. So I am a fan of the original Ghostbusters and I did go into this film slightly worried because the trailers weren't funny. But as I say, it really did make me laugh. Perhaps the only difference is that this film hasn't got that slight edge to it that the original had. It definitely feels a bit more slapstick and aimed at kids, but at the same time, it's tipping its hat to the original. And, and I enjoyed looking at all the old references. At the end of the day, it's not gonna be the best film that you're gonna see this summer. It's not gonna be the worst film that you see this summer. The fact that it clocked in at under two hours was visually interesting to look at, and it made me laugh. 
I have to say I would recommend you go and see it. I do actually think it's a Ghostbusters for a new generation. On the way out of the cinema, I asked a few kids what they thought of it and they said they loved it. So thanks very much for watching. If you liked the video, like it. If you didn't like it, dislike it. Either way, tell me in the comments. Sorry if I sound a bit nasally. I feel like I'm coming down with a cold. I feel a bit like... <laughs>